Good morning. So as you can see behind me, the fog is still uh, lifting off the lake. I have uh, come down to a lake that's um, unknown to me, Turley in Gloucestershire. A few of you may, may not have heard of it. There's not really much information about it on the net, but I was uh, tipped off by one of my uh, fishing friends over on my Facebook page, Sam, who's also with us today. He's already had one. Billy, his mate's next door. He's uh, just got his rods out. And I've had uh, my two rods out for uh, all of about <laughs> all of about two minutes, and I've already got two fish in the net. After a real cold, hard winter, it's nice to actually come down to a lake and get some action. You know, regardless of size, shape, whatever, it's just nice to hear them alarms sing, and uh, hopefully get amongst some more of these fish. So, look, common on in the net already. Solid bag tactics. Whacked out into the uh, whacked out into the fog. Good squirt of uh, good squirt of oil to draw them in on the bag, and yeah, it's literally taken sort of five minutes, and I've got two in the net already. So here's the other one. If that sort of uh, two two takes in five minutes, similar sort of size, all good fun. Majority of commons in here, I believe. So hopefully try and nick a uh, try and make a, nick a mirror or two throughout the day to uh, mix things up a bit. But yeah, solid bag tactics. Cast out into the fog, and uh, yeah, two takes in five minutes. So. Let's slip it back and as I say get these two uh get these two rods out and try and make a couple more. Well as you would have seen from that little intro piece, I've been lucky enough to have two fish already. So next door to me, just here, we've got Billy. Next to him down, we've got Sam. We've uh, arrived sort of seven o'clock. That's uh when the gate opens and you're allowed to uh drive up to the venue slowly, I may add. So yeah, when you're making your way down the uh, the gravel path, uh, gravel path, stick to the uh, five mile an hour speed limit. But um, here we go, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. Right, just tried to do that intro piece, and uh, yeah, the right rod's rattled off. <clears throat> I'm guessing probably another common. <clears throat> this one was chucked in the direction of the island, and uh, fish quite tight on the drag because there is looks like quite a nasty set of snags to the left hand side when uh the fog does lift i will uh, show you what's in front of me and where i've been casting these rods but as long as this one stays on the hook then uh yeah we're free in the bag and we've only been here like i say i don't know hour probably this one is coming in nice nicely not kicking off Hopefully you can get them in the net. Just been re using real solid, uh, simple solid bag tactics. Nothing, to, uh, nothing too crazy. Real simple, basic fishing. I'll go through with, go through that all with you a little bit later on. This is a little bit of a better fish by the looks of this one. It did feel a bit better as well when, uh, when I uh, lifted into it. Happy days. Bit of a better, bit of a bit of a better size this one. Slightly bigger, mid double, nice tail on him, real clean looking fish as well. But uh, yeah, three in a bag, like I say, within the hour, always uh, always a good start on any water, regardless of size. When you've had, uh, like I say, when you've had a real cold, blank winter spell, this is great sport. But yeah, nice clean looking common, and uh, and grab some photos quickly and slip it back. Well, I can't actually remember where I got to uh, on that intro when I uh, was disturbed by that by that take. But um, swim is a bit of a mess at the moment, but rods are out. And uh, yeah, we've had three, three fish grace in that. I believe Sam's just had a, another little one as well. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's all kicking off this morning. It's actually quite good sport. I'm actually quite, uh, quite worn out up and down, up and down. So... Um, like I say, tactics for today just going to be primarily solid bag fishing. It's simple fishing. It's easy fishing. <clears throat> you can turn turn the bags around really quickly to get them back out again, so that you're maximising obviously bite opportunities. But um, <clears throat> as you can see in this bag, it's just a real basic micro mini pellet mix. That's got krill mix, uh, krill pellets in there, bloodworm pellet, real small tiny ones so that you can basically stuff the bags. So these little small snack packs, stuff these bags full of pellet, <clears throat> get them really down, 
tight aerodynamic so you can basically stick them out on the spot and they tr fly true through the air. Today I am putting to test the new Baitech Krill and Tuna hook baits, 10 millers. These are just purely the hook baits, white, pink, yellow. So at the moment I've just stuck with uh, white and pink and I've had bites off both colours at the moment. So yeah, they're the ones that I'm going to be sticking with today. Perfect for uh, perfect for solid bags, fit nicely into the corners and again that sort of visual aspect amongst the darkness of those pellets. So it seems to be working, free fish in the bag already and uh, yeah, fingers crossed there's a lot more to come throughout the day but it's nice to, uh, let's just say it's nice to hear the alarm sing. Like I say, I'll, I will go and speak with Sam, speak with Billy, see what they've been doing today, tactics wise and stuff like that. It's not all going to be about, all going to be about me. Liner on the left hander, which is uh, sort of out towards my left. There is actually only four of us here today, believe it or not. Once this fog lifts, it's actually going to be a really nice day. And I'm quite surprised, to be quite honest with you, that there's not actually going to be, that there isn't more people here already. But um, you never know, a few might turn up later on through the day. But for now, I'm just going to try and sort out this mess behind me. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Just seen the uh, indicator on the on the right hand rod flicker there. I've got that one up nice and ramped up nice and tight because it's like I say, it's towards the island and towards a set of snags. So we'll, uh, we'll see which one goes next. But for now, I'm going to shut up, get all this mess sorted out behind me. Fingers crossed we'll have another one in the net. So the little uh, little changes and tweaks we uh, made to his, his setup after a couple of uh, failed hookups, he's uh, he's now in, and it's uh, it's giving him the run around, isn't it, Bill? Yes, indeed. I think, like I say, we was just saying. I think we make, he's making the most of it, but um, it's definitely uh, definitely giving him the run around. Alright, so when we were with Sam last, we said about uh, there being like, what, 11, 12 mirrors in here, didn't we, mate? And, uh, yeah, he's gone, gone and bagged one. Not the biggest in the world by any means, but, um, typically, just as I was going to get a close-up on the uh, pretty little sort of spangly little starburst uh, scales on his uh, tail, wrist of its tail there, he decides to flip. But, yeah, nice, uh, nice clean condition, the mouth's a little bit. A little bit untidy, but it's what you kind of expect with these sort of with these sort of waters. To be fair, but um, yeah, it's nice to see one of the uh, one of the the dozen mirrors that are uh, are in here at least. My rods, like I say, have gone a bit quiet. We're going to get him back because this, uh, as all of them, they do flap around on the uh, flap around in the cradle. But yeah, my um, my rods have gone a bit gone a bit quiet. So I've just redone my uh, two solid bags. So, fingers crossed, I'll be in again soon. Right, so as I mentioned, I've redone the bags and uh, the culprit of a hook bait change. A little scamp of a common, real clean, nice looking fish. Um, yeah, changed the hook bait color to a yellow dumbbell this time round. And uh, yeah, give me a real bream-like take. If there were bream in this league, then I would have said bream all over it. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Twenty four and a half pound and uh, looks it in looked and felt it in the net easy easy 20 plus but yeah what a mint fish 20 pounder from uh, from the margins I'm gonna help Bill get it up some real decent pictures right so it all gone quiet for me for a little while but uh, I just have one of the rods in just to redo it and uh, again rattled off with this little scamp 
Now, <clears throat> like I say, it had gone pretty quiet for me. So just want to chop and change things up. We're going to start fishing the margins, do a little bit of a, uh, do a little bit of copying off Bill and get some pellet and that down just off the tree to my left. And uh, yeah, again, another one, a bit like the first two this morning. But then bigger fish seem to be coming into these margins, obviously just to my right with Bill. So I think I might follow soon and stick a, stick a solid bag down there. It can't harm. I've seen a lot of fish down under the, tr down under the tree. So it'd uh, be silly of me not to follow suit and try and nick a better one for myself. But yeah, another clean little common. Great sport. Sun starting to make an appearance. So I'll show you what it looks like out in front of us all. I'm struggling to actually keep two rods in, in the water at the moment. Um, got another one in there, a bit of a bigger, well, I'd say bigger one. It's not massive by any means, but bigger than any of the other few that I've had in the last two or three takes. So just thought I'd slip them up for the camera anyway. Bit of a better one. Got another one just waiting in the net behind me to get sorted out. Like I say, I've switched to yellow hook baits and uh, yeah, I can only keep one rod in, one rod in the water at a time. When this one uh, decides to chill itself out, I'll flip it up for the camera, but as you can see now, that sun has just come up, which is just behind us, illuminating that island behind me. And I'm putting out, <clears throat> well, the rods, the rod that I am putting out each time is going up against that island towards sort of like a bushes, sort of bang center in the middle. And um, yeah, that's one rod that's doing the damage at the moment because I can't actually get the second rod out. I mentioned earlier, I'm sort of prepping a spot just down to my left hand side for a uh, margin spot and they're smoking it up like you wouldn't believe but I can't get a rod down there because I'm having to put it out like I say to the island every time so when this one decides to uh, finally stop giving it the big one there we go like I say a bit of a bigger size than the last two or three that I've caught I want to flick them up for the camera because it seems to have all been about Billy at the moment and his uh and his big ones, so there we go. Nice little common. I'm gonna slip this one back, sort the other one out, and get them rods back out. Managed to get two rods out. Now, how long it's gonna stay that way for? I really don't know but what I wanted to do is obviously talk to you now that the fog's gone you can actually see the rest of the lake properly so I'm gonna flip the camera around and just show you basically what we've got in front of us and kind of like the lay of the land as such um, for the actual fishery itself so turn the camera around and with this beautiful sunshine it's all illuminated so we've got masses and masses of open water sort of a central island as I mentioned and the one um, whichever rod basically is in the water at the at the, the time that I'm uh, actually got a got a bite is coming off this central um, central sort of bush that's coming off the the bulk of the island now I'm not fishing up tight to it by any means probably at best a rod length and there we go the margin rod top As I was saying, loads of open water. I've literally got my left hander just underneath this tree, as you would have just seen. Um, loads of open water. Um, <clears throat> like I say, the rod I'm fishing up to the island is just off this main sort of bush that's coming down into the island. So a good rod length or so off it. And to be fair, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, takes off that rod have been drop backs. It's a real nasty looking set of snags over here as well which I'm staying well clear of and when I'm lifting into the lifting into the fish I'm just walking back and lifting the rod up high so you can uh, <clears throat> basically just lure the fish away from any potential snagging opportunities so yeah nice island sun is obviously behind like behind us up here illuminating that island giving it loads of warmth loads of heat and uh, they seem to be liking it so yeah nice big island for me and Billy really to fish out even though he's only fishing the margins and then it goes into sort of like a channel channel here um, between these these two islands and again on this side you've got another big island loads of over loads of overhangs and um, <clears throat> yeah basically there's a lot of water in front of these four swims that sort of control this car park end 
Now it literally is only four, only four of us here today and uh, yeah I'm quite surprised with it being such a beautiful beautiful day that there aren't more people here. Um, obviously there's boats to be had, you know we've had fish up to 24 pound, over 24 pound and uh, they seem to be enjoying this spring warmth but yeah that's what we're looking at. All of the swims are uh, decked out as well so you can get your you know all your rods and bits and pieces down there but yeah it's looking looking nice and like I say it's fishing it's nice to get a bend in the rod and uh, it's nice to have a, a few fish under my belt but that's what you're pretty much looking at on this half of the lake anyway not been and had a look around I believe the owner doesn't really like you going to venture around the lake if you're honest once you're kind of in your swim she kind of likes you to stay put within reason so uh, yeah I've not been and had to look around as such and to be honest even though it's like what half past 11 I've not actually stopped this morning got here at like what seven o'clock and uh, yeah not actually stopped it's been fish after fish after fish either myself Bill or uh, Sam so kept us really busy and like I say it's nice to uh, nice to get a bend in the rod Nice to get a few boats on the wafters and, and stuff like that and nice to uh, put the new rods to good use as well. So I'm going to just chill out for, for 10 minutes and uh, get everything sort of sorted out. Have a drink because it, like I say, it is roasting, that sun is up above us and uh, yeah, it's really, really, really nice day. So I'll catch up with you in a little while. bigger ones for my uh, for my efforts 18 pounds give or take a few ounces and it's absolutely mint absolutely pristine not a scale outside mega mega clean fish really nice shape and proportion as well so he behaves without uh, covering me and the camera equipment and water I will uh, get it up get it up to show you taking off the margin spot literally two rod lamps if that Lower the solid back down the edge. Real light scattering of uh, pellet over the top. Just make a little carpet. Like I said, I've been tearing it up anyway. But look at that, absolutely stunning common. Not a scale out of sight, not a mark or a blemish on it. Like I say, just over, just over uh, 18 pound, give or take a few ounces and um, Buzzing to get one of the bigger residents of the uh, of the lake. So just gonna grab a few stills quickly, slip it back, get that rod back down on the margin before these ducks start to uh, annihilate my solid bag bucket. Happy days. Another one for me then off that margin off that margin spot again they're getting in there with this warmth in numbers it's literally just like say smoking up down there so like I say just moving in and getting on getting on the uh, pellet that I'm putting down there another sort of average size common for this place another crazy one as you can tell and uh, yeah another one to the total tally really wouldn't mind trying to nick a 20 pounder today if I'm lucky enough to have one but if not a 20 pounder I won't mind a mirror just to uh, break up this uh, run of commons but like I said I think there are a dozen in here or so that Sam says so hopefully I can try and nick a, nick a mirror along the way but yeah nice golden one this one a few of them have been quite pale but uh, yeah this one is a nice pretty golden one Similar sort of size to the rest. And a uh, good little scrap on the margin. So I've whipped the right hand rod in and I just want to talk you through my solid bag setup for today's session. Now, probably got about a foot or so of uh, tubing down to a quarter solid bag stem, a two and a half ounce inline lead. Inside there is a quick change swivel. You've got the uh, supple solid bag rig material so there's no coat in so it can move as freely as it wants to obviously when the fish are coming in amongst your solid bag contents 
that's looped at one end, hooped over the uh, quick chain swivel, and then a little rubber just to uh, just to cover up the hoop so that obviously your rig's not coming off. Down to a wide gape hook, and then if you can see on there, just a little bit of shrink tubing over the eye, and a little bit of shrink tubing on the shank, and then that is coming down to a bait tech. 10 mil wafter now yellow seems to be the color of today well it seems to be doing me the bites at the moment so i'm going to stick with that as i say the rods the right hand rod of the two the bites have dried up but you can't get any simpler than that wide gape hook not the snotted with a bit of a shrink tube and over the eye in the shank of the hook inline lead the stem and tubing job done on the left hander and uh, every single bite basically it's just been like out of you know just 100 mile an hour and I was getting liner after liner and uh, I just knew something weren't up it just wasn't right with the rod so uh, got it in <clears throat> redone it solid bag yellow bait bait tech 10 mil juice wafter in the bag lowered it down and uh, yeah literally as I'm putting the rod down on the rest to uh, clip the uh, the bobbin on Zzz, lines just peeled out of my hands now it's roast i wouldn't say it's roasting hot but it's a nice spring day the sun's up there's no wind so always keep a bucket of water next to your cradle next to your mat just keep the fish nice and wet keep them <clears throat> like i say wet all over and uh just look after them basically if you've got an old bucket or something like that just stick it next to your, your mat where you're on hooking cradle Whatever you're uh, sorting the fish out on, it just keeps them nice and, I'd say, nice and cool. I would say calm, but these fish don't like to be calm by the looks. By the looks of it, again, another nice, nice size fish, nice clean common. I'm still chasing, still chasing that elusive, uh, still chasing that elusive um, mirror that I can't seem to get my hands on yet. Bill's just slipped back a nice 18 pounder as well absolute stunning fish so he's got a good average size at the moment but yeah another one for the uh another one for the camera well what did i say last time i bought one of the mirrors now got one in the net nothing massive by any means but when there was sort of like one mirror to like a million commons it's actually uh yeah it's actually quite nice to have one so just gonna get it up into the cradle i'll get it up for the camera have a few snaps but yeah quality little scrap under the raw tip again off that margin off that margin spot I don't know if you saw that I don't even well there it is one just nutted out just there but uh but yeah let's get this mirror out and we'll have a little look at it it's all kicking off I just had my first mirror Whee! old Billy uh Billy Blagger's in and a little bit further down the bank Sam's into one as well so my fish are just resting in the net a sec after quite a spirited little battle. I'm going to quickly out, uh, out build land this one and we'll go and see what Sam's got as well. So, uh, yeah, I said about on the last little snippet, did I? I wanted a mirror. Yeah, lo and behold, we've got one in the net. Not breaking any records by any means, but it's just nice to break up. As I mentioned, that runner commons now. <clears throat> Not got the prettiest of mouths, but what can you do? As I said, on these sorts of venues, you do have the old one that's uh, got a bit of a misshaped mouth. But yeah, nice to uh, see a, a few little uh, mirror scales on on a fish rather than those uh, little bars of gold. Just fling it around so you can see the other side. We've got a few more scales on that side. But yeah, pretty little fish. Again, in this heat, just keep them wet, keep them watered, keep all the bubbles off them, and just make sure uh, pictures them. Your camera footage a little bit neater and tidier. But yeah, pretty little mirror. Gonna get a few stills. Slip it back. Right, 
Right, so the reason actually I'm here today is because of Sam. Now, I put out on my page that, you know, wanted to get out for the weekend. Sam very kindly uh, pinged me a message over on my page and, uh, yeah, recommended getting down to this place, really. So you're quite, you've been a regular here, mate, and you have yeah, to be fair, yeah, you know I've been it. Yeah, I've fishing here two years Knows you quite well, so I said to him first thing this morning when I met him, you know, if I'm blanking today, it's all because of him. But yeah, luckily enough, we've uh, we've had a fair few amount of fish, haven't we? Yeah, to be I mean, fair, it's so fishing well, it's, it's, yeah. it has been a bit of a hard winter. You know, I've been down here. Yeah, I've had yeah. sessions that I've had two fish. I've had 13 fish in the next session. It, it's just hit a mess. Yeah, yeah, trial yeah. and error on the days. I've never seen the place before. If any of you guys are looking for it on the internet, and you probably have found it just as little as me, to be honest, it is quite a sort of low key sort of venue in the sense of if you know about it, you kind of know about it within reason. I know it's been, uh, there's a lot of aggro about the place, but I can't say anything other than good things so far. So yeah, you may get some negative feedback regarding the venue, um, sort of like the, the lady owner. I can't fault it today. I've had no issues. She's taken our money. She's seen us in the morning and she's left us to it. So I didn't get involved in the, none of those politics. You all sound with it as no, well. I've never had any problems. So on that front, no drama, but more about what I want to speak to Sam about now more to the point is kind of what you've had your fish and that on mate to be fair and how you approach this venue really so yeah i mean obviously boily ban on the venue yeah straight away you're thinking ah what am i yeah yeah plastic, what am i gonna go to yeah i mean there's there's rumors you know plastic baits she don't like them yeah i've never had a problem she seen me use them yeah never no issues so rig i normally use is just it's a standard you know slip d rig in a sense but i'm using the quarter kickers um mainly oh and we're in <laughs> So yeah, this this is yeah, just a basic. Where were rig. we? Yeah, <laughs> um, this is just a basic rig I use down at this venue. Like I say, it's got the quarter D rig kicker on it. Um, size eight. I'm using a wide gape. Um, Same as me and my solids. Yeah, wide, wide I mean gape. a lot of people say use it with a crank. I, yeah, I find yeah. with a crank it doesn't sit in properly. Because obviously there's a barbless rule yeah. here. It, it's, you know you've got the wider exposure. In yeah, there. yeah. Um, what I do because I'm fishing uh, quite a stiff hook link on it. Um, I normally put a shot on to mould the putty around mm -hmm. just so it stays in place because otherwise you get all sorts of complications yeah, or you're yeah. just forever putting putty on. I mean, 750 or 10, you don't want to yeah, be just yeah, throwing yeah. it away. Um, it's quite a clean bottom out there, isn't it, as yeah, well? So you yeah, don't need mega long, no. you know, six, ten inch long. Hook. I mean, I, I can use, I've used two inch rigs yeah, yeah. And it's still when I'm solid bag fishing. Um, yeah, and you know, I only it's use a stiff one. as well. Yeah, I use a stiff one only because yeah. when I'm in a solid bag, it's compressed, I don't want it to yeah, get tangled yeah, yeah. in the bag, so yeah. if it's stiff, it comes out presented. Pings um, itself out, yeah. yeah different, way of, uh, different way of using it, because yeah. I say a lot of the time a lot of people, like myself, use the uncoated stuff, don't they? And, and uh, yeah, like we say, you do, you, there could be the element of it wrapping around or yeah. you know, coiling, coiling on itself. But Yeah, I mean, I, I've used this rig to, well, as you've seen today. Yeah, yeah, Serious great effect, success, it's yeah. working, isn't it? So. Um, yeah, going on to the bait side of things, obviously boilies, they are banned on the venue, so don't let her catch you using yeah, them. Yeah. Um, so I opt for the option of fake corn, because most of the anglers down here feed the fish on corn. Yeah. Um, you know, I use my loose feed corn yeah, yeah, pellet. Yeah. Um, Keep it really basic, just yeah, yeah, cheap and it. basic, basically. Isn't This isn't a, been expensive fishing today no, at all, has it, in no. the slightest, I mean, my, wise. my mix has just been knocked up of pellet, corn, Yeah. and that's it. A um, little bit of liquid. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I, I opt for the mini ring swivel on it. Um, you can, you use, you can use a bait screw, yeah, but when yeah. using corn, I find it's quite hard to get it on. Um, so yeah, obviously I'll just uh, floss the corn on. It's my easiest option. Um, that just sits on the bottom, presenting itself, kind of the same as a wafter would. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's that's my rig. It's been doing the, doing the damage anyway, yeah. it, to be fair. So. Okay. And then, obviously, that's the finished product. Um, in the bag, like I say, all I'm using is, I've got some salmon uh, fry crumb. It's just, you know, gives it a bit of a cloud. Six mil, uh, two mil, four mil pellet, just leading onto my leader. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, what size bag is yeah. that? Is that the yeah. large? Yeah, this large is one. Uh, yeah, this is the solids. No, this is a medium. Medium <laughs> one. Yeah, is it? Solids yeah, medium. Yeah. Packed down nice. Yeah. So as you can see, it's it's pretty tight. Yeah. Um, be doing the wonders. Pinging them out here and all here, there, and all over the place. Yeah. Really, and they've <laughs> yeah. been seeming to seeming to pull them in. You've been using some new goo as well. Yeah. You? You, on, you mentioned you've I'm been to the, the uh, show and picked up some bits. Yeah. Last weekend or whenever it was. Yeah, I mean, buttercorn has been doing me absolutely some brilliant results today, and also so was the new isotonic. Um, the isotonic is a weird one. It's got a fruity, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's like Lucas Aid. Yeah. That is the best <laughs> way to describe it. Um, that might be why. Boy, yeah. Bill's on a mad one today because he might have probably been secretly yeah. uh, doing <laughs> doing shots when we've had our yeah. backs turned. <laughs> That's it. But yeah, and then hook-wise, I'm using the new Corda Kamakura um, size eight white gauge, obviously barbless because of the barbless rule. And like I say, it's easy, it's yeah, easy yeah. enough. Well, they've been they've been nailing them, haven't they? So yeah, well, I mean, fair, these so hooks are uh, once they're in, they're in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Even with the uh, some of the some of the smaller ones having a bit of mouth damage, it's still yeah. been still been sinking in there, haven't they? To be yeah, fair, I mean, in. all nailed in. Thank God, in the bottom lip. Yeah, you know, yeah. you very rarely you get them nailed in the top lip yeah. these days. Um, oh, happy days. You so seem yeah. to be doing the results, mate. Well, as you would have seen. Sam's now got one rod to get back out. I knew it was going to happen, which is exactly the reason why I left my rods out because I just did not fancy running up and down the bank trying to sort a fish out whilst we're trying to do something on camera, you know, seeing what Sam's tactics are for the day. So we're going to leave Sam sort his, uh, sort this rod out, get that back out. We've probably got about two and a half, three hours max left. Don't really know the time, it's just flown by today. Sun's gorgeous, so uh, let's wrap it up there. And we'll go and see if uh, Billy's going to have a little chat on camera, see what he's been doing today, considering he's, uh, we, we've nicknamed him Billy the Blagger, because he's, uh, he's blagged some nice fish out today, so uh, he's just stuffing his face, let's go and disturb him, see what his tactics have been, and uh, see if he'll speak to us on camera. Right. Bit weird one there. Be rude not to speak to Billy, and uh, have a chat, find out what he's been doing, because uh, as of today, he uh, seems to be doing the best out of us all on uh, size wise anyway you've just been fishing the margins mate and you're flicking them just down the edge here and although his bites haven't been like one after another like sort of mine and sam's he's been playing the waiting game and it seems to have paid off mate doesn't it exactly so he's mugging us right off 24 24 pound and a few ounces so yeah he's uh he's in the lead by biggest fish by a mile so far but um his rigs then so Real short, short rig, coated braid, little break in the uh, in the braid there, allow for a bit of movement. So a bit of shrink, looks like a bit of shrink tubing or a kicker over the end there, down to a blowback style, tied blowback style, with a little ring on the shank to allow the hook bait to move back and forth. Got a little DNA yellow wafter down there, no idea what they're called, because obviously I don't use them myself. But uh, yeah, yellow seems to be doing, Flora. yellow seems to be doing the the, uh, the business today. So. How long you been fishing there, mate? You're quite new to it, ain't you? Probably about a year and a half. Yeah, so getting out there and doing it, enjoying it today, bud. Exactly. Enjoying yeah. it. Add a few fish as well, which uh, is always, you know, always a bonus when you get out on the bank. Blanks are never easy to come by, and I know that more than anyone recently. So it's been good to uh, meet another, another angler who just enjoys getting out and catching fish. So, yeah, real basic, tidy rig, small little, uh, small little hook, small little hook bait. And perfect for these sort of fish so like i say we've got a few hours left yet we're uh, gonna try and nick a few more along the way and hopefully up my sort of average size stamping and get a, tw get a 20 it's all i need now isn't it mate 20 yeah. pounder i've had commons i've had my mirror just gonna try and talk a 20 pounder onto the hook and fingers crossed it might happen before home time never gonna believe this you wait all day for one mirror literally just lowered that back down after uh, speaking to sam and I've got this, uh, and I've got an even nicer mirror in it. A lot bigger on as well. Hovering around the £17 mark. And um, yeah, it's an absolute stunner. Literally put the bag out, down on that margin spot. Obviously it had a bit of a rest, 20 minutes or so, whilst we were uh, going to speak to Sam and Billy. And it's absolutely rattled off. There we go then, look at this one. Happy days. Real nice pretty scales on him. Give me a quality scrap under the rod tip as well. Real nice fish. I love mirrors me, so this one's made my day. I wanted to catch one, but obviously uh, having this one as well is uh, yeah, over the moon. Just whilst he's behaving, I'll, I'll swing around, you can see the other side.
just as mint on the other side as well. Whee, these fish are so lively in here. They're uh, been injected with something, put it that way. Seriously got beef when they're on the mat. Just behave. Right, let's see if we can get this side up for you. For the camera. There we go. Yeah, hovering around. <laughs> hovering around 17 pound mark. And uh, yeah, as I say, absolute minter. Made my day. Not many of these in here according to Sam. So it's nice to have uh, it's nice to have two of them in my day session. And even more so this slightly larger one than the other one. So I'm just gonna grab some stills and slip him back. So another one, 17 pound, taken from your margin, wasn't it mate? Yeah. Another clean common. <laughs> Bill's average weight is, uh, yeah, staying up there, like I say, he's picking them off one by one. Not so much the uh, the smaller ones. He's on uh, upper double specimen duty, ain't you mate? You ain't doing no pest, no pest control around here. Proper fish. Come to Turley, watch your buckets. I swear these probably have more bait than any of the fish out in the lake today. I'll show you, I'll flip the camera around and show you. Him. Don't know what his name is, but I'll tell you what, that belly is full of pellets. Full of my pellets. So whatever you do, make sure you put your bucket lids on because he will have him and his mate, or mates, I don't even know how many are on here. But they will basically annihilate any bait that you've got left open. I'm casting out, I'm turning around and all I can hear is this beak rattling inside my bucket. That solid bucket, a solid bag bucket was half full of pellet today. I know I've been gone through quite a few bags but he's had his fair share of, uh, fair share of bait off me today. So yeah, a, uh, a little word of warning, keep your lids on or you'll be going home with no bait left over. I've been up since five o'clock and uh, yeah, got some family stuff to do tonight. So I want to get home, showered, chill out, grab a snack before we go out for a meal. But uh, but yeah, it's been a really, really good day. Like I'm knackered. I've literally not stopped all day, to be honest. I've not had one of these sort of fishing days for a very long time. And it's after, like I say, after a long blank, it's nice just to come to water like this and uh, get a bend in the rod and get a bit of action. Like I say, and meet up with Sam, who's you know, followed me on my page and stuff like that. So I'll put a few links below. It's obviously my pages. Sam's got a page as well, haven't you, mate? Yeah, yeah. Sam's got a page. I'll put a link below in the description. Um, probably start a page. <laughs> but yeah, for his page, Bill probably think. Well, he thinks he's a Billy big, <laughs> Billy big balls all all afternoon with his twenty pounder and whatever else he's going on about. So yeah, he'll probably start a page as. Sorry, mate. Oh, uh, twenty pound makes it sound small. So yeah, he'll prob he'll probably uh, put a page, have a page up by the morning as well, no doubt. So, but yeah, it's been a really enjoyable day. Sun has been beautiful. I can feel the sunburn on the back of my neck and on my cheeks and that as well. So it's been lush. But uh, yeah, really enjoyable day. I'll try and stick some pictures up at the end from like my catches, <clears throat> Bill's catches, Sam's catches. 
so we didn't video everything because this video would be about bloody three hours long to be quite honest with you so we're gonna wrap things up here get on our way home and uh, yeah if you've made it this far thanks for watching I've tried to make it sort of like not really repetitive so you're seeing every fish and that sort of thing just the better ones that are of the you know the the amount that we were catching but yeah I've lost count I've gone through so many bags I've gone through like loads of uh, loads of pellet and whatever else and um, yeah it's nice to use it for a decent purpose for once so we're gonna wrap it up there Sam thanks for inviting me mate no much worries, appreciated mate. know that we'll uh, catch up again soon yeah definitely yeah happen. thanks for watching everyone don't forget as normal you know subscribe to the channel that sort of thing leave a comment below any questions about the lake itself stick them below if I can't answer them I'll ask Sam but uh, yeah let's get off home get showered and get ready to go out <laughs>